Hello everybody. In this Python tutorial we are going to create a program that simulates a coin flip or a number of coin flips. Let's go ahead and type out the code and then we'll go back over the code and explain it in detail. Import the random module. Let's create a function with the name heads tails. We're going to allow the user to put in the number of flips for the argument of the function, number of flips. Create running total variables for the tails count and the heads count. Tails count equals zero. Heads count equals zero. Let's loop through the number of flips entered by the user for i in a range. Number of flips. Create a random variable to allow for the possibility of heads or tails. We're going to use the random module and the rand int. One or two. If that random variable equals one, increment to the tails count, and display the tails count and the message tails. Else, increment to the heads count, and display a message that shows the running total for the heads count and the message that the coin flip was heads. And finally, let's display messages for the number of times the coin came up heads or tails and the total count. Okay, so now let's go back over this code and explain it in a little bit more detail. So the first thing we did is we imported the random module, which will give us access to the rand int that we will need to simulate the random flipping of a coin and to get the heads or the tails for the coin flip. Next, we use the def to define a function named heads tails, and we want the user or the person flipping the coin to be able to put in the number of times they'd like to flip the coin. Then we created two variables started at zero, and these will be running total variables for the tails count and the heads count. Then we created a for loop and we said for i to iterate in or through the range of the number of flips that will be determined by the user. Then we created a random variable and we used the random module and we accessed the random int that will allow us two options, either one or two. And in this case, we assigned the one to be tails and the two to be heads. And then we use an if statement to make the assignment. So if the rand variable here equals one, increment to the running total count for tails count and display the running total count for each flip of the coin and the message tails. And then we use the else statement. And in this case, we can use the else statement because it's gonna be one or two. And since we already assigned one to the tails, the only thing left would be the two and we would assign that to the heads. Then we use the heads count running total variable to increment each time the coin flip comes up heads and display the running total count and the message heads. And finally, we display the total count for the tails and the heads for all of the coin flips. And one thing to note, make sure these two print statements are in the proper scope with the proper white space and in line with the for loop here, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's run this code and let's call our function. So we called our function heads tails and for this one, let's just flip the coin one time. For this coin flip, we get heads. Now let's call the function and flip the coin 10 times. Okay, so you can see the coin was flipped 10 times, and you can see for each time the coin was flipped, whether it came up heads or tails, and you can see the running total. So if we go down the list, we see heads, one, two, three, four, five times. Heads came up five times. Let's count the tails, one, two, three, four, five, and tails came up five times. And then 
Here you can see the total for tails was five and the total for heads was five. This time let's put in a hundred. And you can see we get the output similar to before. You can see each time whether it came up heads or tails, the running total count here, and then down at the bottom, the total. So we got tails 50 times and heads 50 times. Now let's call the function and let's put in a thousand times. Okay, so this time we got 482 tails and 518 heads. Let's call the function and put in 10,000. Okay, so this time for the tails we get 4,938 and for the heads we get 5,062. Let's call it one more time and this time let's put in 100,000. Okay, so when we flip the coin 100,000 times we get 49,941 tails and 50,059 heads. Okay, that's all we have for this Python tutorial on how to create code to simulate a coin flip or a number of coin flips. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.